Judy, Rob, forecasters say they expect this hurricane to make landfall here in Florida on Wednesday morning. But the effects of the Dahlia are already being felt in cities all along the Gulf Coast. Today, dozens of counties in Florida on high alert as Hurricane Adalia continues to churn and gain strength, expected to make landfall Wednesday as a dangerous Category 3 storm. The storm's outer bands already impacting the Florida Keys, flooding the streets in Key West. A state of emergency declared in at least 49 Florida counties with many under mandatory evacuation orders. Some 300,000 residents already leaving their homes. If we get 8, 10, 12 foot surge, you're talking water's going to just flood all of these buildings. Governor Ron DeSantis warning Floridians they could see storm surges up to 12 feet, so they need to get to safety now. You've got time. You've got the ability to, to, to do. I know all these counties have opened up shelters, but time is running out very, very rapidly. ABC's Ginger Z says we're seeing more intense hurricanes in part due to warmer waters caused by human impacted climate change. And as far as the water temperatures go, you know we've been talking about two to four degrees above average. That is a huge deal. It super fuels storms. Adalia leaving its mark on Cuba with powerful waves and strong winds crippling the coastline. In Clearwater, fire and rescue crews are clearing the beaches of any debris that could become a projectile. Elsewhere, people emptying store shelves and lining up for gas, many stocking up on sandbags. I tell them to leave. That's what the county said, that's what the state said, and that's what my director said. Thank because you. we want you to be alive. Now, the Coast Guard, they're preparing as well. They have 60 Jayhawk helicopters that can be deployed for search and rescue missions. And as for those who are ignoring those mandatory evacuation orders, the state has made over 20 shelters available, of course, for those who will be able to get there. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.